Hello everyone, this is tutorial number five. Uh, this is a continuation of tutorial four. In this tutorial, we will be uh, extending and overriding our adapter class rather than using the built-in adapter for our uh, array to list view. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start the tutorial. And as you can see, it works exactly the same as the one before. I uh, took out the other colors, so it's just a, a two color and a little icon now. And so let's look at the code. Uh, you can see in the uh, structure of the project, there is just a uh, tutorial 5.java class and our two layouts. Um, pretty much everything is the same in our uh, tutorial Java uh, 5 file. We've got our fancy adapter class uh, declared up here. Um, that is the class we are calling to override the custom, uh, the built-in uh, array adapter. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. We initialize it, we set it, there's our uh, button uh, call, and then down here is the actual uh, meat of the adapter class. As you can see, the uh, fancy adapter extends array adapter string. Uh, we call the super, and then we have the get view function, which is the function we have to override. Uh, the first thing we do is we uh, take the passed in view, which is the convert view, uh, pass it to a local variable row, and then um, the first thing we call is the uh, if row equals equals null. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to see if that row has already been initialized before. If that row um, is being recycled, meaning it was displayed in our list and then that list scrolled off the uh, display, the recycler function will take that row, hold it in memory, uh, and then when it needs another row again, rather than initialize and create a new row, uh, it will pass that row back to the display. And so that's the reason we call uh, the if statement. Uh, and the reason is because the inflator function for inflating an XML layout, which is what we are using for our custom list item, uh, is very expensive. It takes a lot of resources and about 20 to 50 milliseconds of processing time, depending. Uh, so if you can save that, this is the proper way to do that. Uh, and it will cut down quite a bit. Now, the main reason you would want to override your fancy adapter or your array adapter in the first place with our fancy adapter class is so you can call other things as part of the get view. We are not doing any of that in this one. Uh, but for example, if you needed to update a database, uh, pull a database, erase, whatever, uh, those calls could all be placed in here as part of the get view. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one. And I will go ahead and continue on with the next one. 